final game of the season. Our fortunes have really took an upturn since the previous episode. And with that, can we get ourselves a promotion? No, no, we can't. Mathematically, we can. Uh, League wise, big fat no. Welcome back. Episode 3. Club 2. Doll boy. Beautiful. We are technically within three points of the promotion spot, which if I were to say that to myself at the end of the previous episode, or even the start, I'd have been very surprised. So we can't drop, but we can at least finish third, which, which would be nice. We're playing the team that are currently in seventh. I'm not sure who Bragantia and Castro Dare are playing. But I think with our upturning favours, we've kind of swung the board... Oh, Jesus, I haven't looked at this recently. we swung the board back on side. <laughs> They're not happy. But I'm hoping that what we've done in our previous three games of three wins is done enough to get them back, back on side. Before we jump in to the final game against Vittoria de Senage, you could do me the favour of liking, subscribing, sharing support on the channel. That would be greatly appreciated. If you're looking forward to this season, how this is going. Since last episode, we played Paredes and Bragancha. We started off with a 1-0 loss against Mario Maria de Font. Then we beat Castro Dare 1-0. Um, 2-1 against Gondomar. And then 1-0 against Pevedum. So, not too bad. Not great. But not too bad. We have Matos, Gabby, Manga, Rafa and Elvis as the back four. Manga and Rafa no longer dislike each other. They've just got a kind of tedious link between the two. Benny is playing at the base of our midfield with uh, Diego Paolo and Tejera alongside him. We have Bruninho and Dino as our wide midfielders. And then Huv as the lone striker. We're playing him as a poacher. He's now shuffled his, his self to two and a half stars. And he's doing all right for us. Scored a cracking goal in one of those games as well. So hopefully he'll do the same in this one. We have a free kick. Bruninho puts it towards Hurf and it's kicked away without little challenge, to be fair. Fernandez and Martins have the ball with uh, Sanash. Vittoria, I'm going to call him Vittoria. It's probably going to be easier that way. Tejera's got the ball in the middle after Hurf won it back for us. Good ball out to Gabby on the right-hand side. Brilliant ball in, but no one really challenged it. And it's been headed away a few times. We've managed to pick possession back up. Elvis, come on lad. Get yourself down that left side. Get a nice little ball into the 18 foot Herve. He has. But Herve, Herve wasn't feeling it. Bruninho went for the header instead. There's a goal kick. Kaiser bashes it out to their right wing. Hopefully Elvis wins the header. He did not. We've got a possession regardless. It is back now with Elvis. Out to Dino on the left. He's going to follow his run through. We love that. We love a good aggressive run from a fullback. Herve wins his header that time. It goes down to Bradinho. Put back through to him. Oh, and he's dragged his shot. Ever so slightly wide. Gabby throws it short to Manga. Puts it forward to Tejera. Back to Gabby. Manga, Gabby, Bruninho. Ah, it's it's nice little play. I'm, um, I'm a big fan. Paolo. Back to Rafa. Everyone, just, just make sure you keep possession, guys. We all had a conversation about this last episode, didn't we? Elvis whips it across. Herve. Oh, he's not scored that. I think one of my main things next season is getting like a good forward because I think forward is probably between forward and holding mid are the weakest parts of my team. Other than that, I think everyone else is relatively quite strong. It's just the issue that they are so weak. Second half now, we're just coming up towards the hour mark, but uh, the ball's being cleared out by Vittoria. Balao has it, knocks it back to Fernandez. Martin's out on their left side. There's, I don't know. Ooh, I just don't know. I've got to bear in mind, though, to be fair, these are like the top two teams from each of the divisions. So I think when we get into our normal division, we should be a hell of a lot stronger. I've noticed us getting better over the last few games as well. But it's just if the board want to keep me on. If they don't, I mean, it's not going to be the best, is it? It's not ideal. We really could do with winning on a four, leaving, sorry, on a four game winning streak. And if we can do so there, then 
I think the board would have no... Oh, my God. The board would have no real reason to get rid of us. But Bruno Fernandes has just been pushed over. And uh, it looks like... Oh, no, it says I was taking the uh, penalty. <laughs> He's blazed it over. No, he hasn't. He's hit the crossbar. Couldn't tell. Angles are all off. There's <laughs> a corner for them after our player heads it out. I'm happy to see that rattle in the woodwork. Fabio Manias puts it in. It's towards the back post and Manga heads it away. So we have now passed the hour mark. I want to make those substitutions. Uh, at the moment, if we were to win our game, we would go up to third. But it's, it's that if, ifs and ands and all that gaff. We've made two subs in defence. We've pushed Manga into the holding mid. And then we've taken Benny out for Gomez. And I've taken Elvis off on the left-hand side. And I've brought in Nuno Freitas. Because he got a nice little assist on one of the goals. Since we've got Hoof up top, I'm going to stop. Uh, oh, I'm still floating. I didn't realise the floating was a thing. I'm going to start hitting earlier crosses. Just to get him into him a little bit more frequently. 15 minutes left. Still kind of just floating about, really. I'd like to see a goal come in. I'm going to push us up to positive for the last 10. See what comes from this. But I'm hoping it's not just a big old pit of disappointment. It, it looks like it's going to be exactly... Yeah, there wasn't a highlight. Okay, never mind. We're unbeaten in our last four. Let's just leave it at that. We weren't good enough, but we'll go back and hopefully I'm, I'm still the boss next year. In the blandest opening of a season review I believe I've ever seen. We'll have a little look. So, our new arrivals. Uh, obviously, we didn't make any, so I'm not going to go into these in too much depth. But I'm just going to skip through, see if there's anyone really that the board properly disliked. Or if there's anything that stands out for the positive. So, Marathona got a B. Uh, I think Tavares got a B as well. A minimum free release clause of 50k. And they're happy with that, for some reason. And then, there was one more B as well. Where are you? Tiago Santos. Lower wage than expected. He hasn't played too much, to be fair. Transfers out. Uh, they weren't happy with Carr. Uh, that's about it, really, to be fair. He played quite well by the looks of it. And we got one whole thousand for him. We only achieved mid-table in the uh, the promotion stage, I believe, is what they refer to it as, or whatever. Um, but they weren't particularly happy about that. So, from our league, Castro, Dare, and ourselves went through. And then we also had the other two teams that were really close also. But the actual teams promoted were Gondomar and Maria de Font. So... Uh, if we compare our results against those teams, so we lost against Defont on both occasions, and Gondomar, we drew 2-2, and we actually beat them, so we had the better of Gondomar, but not, not good enough, apparently. And in the cup, we were knocked out before we even joined, so that's of no concern to us. Biggest win was a 4-0 against Beramar, not sure we were present for that, don't believe so. Goal of the season, we saw Hoove skull against Gondomar, which is the one that I actually referenced earlier, I believe? We'll have a look at that in a second. And a match to remember was a 2-0 against Beramar and, and not the 4-0 for, for some reason. Our goal of the season, the one for Hoof, was pretty pretty tasty, to be fair. Bruninho knocks it to him. Oh no, Vieira, Benny. He takes it on the turn, bends it. Have a bit of that. I thought, this is it. We've got a fantastic goal scorer in our team. We haven't. That's, that's a complete lie. Finances. Uh, our sponsorships picked up from previous seasons, but everything else is on the downturn. Uh, reputation and no other deals as well. Uh, a little bit on merchandising. Our goalkeeper is one of the top five shirts as well, which is rare. Our lineup shows a 4 3 3, which is what we were actually playing towards the end of the season. Matos, Perez, Manga, Rafa, Gabi, very familiar. Benny, Vieira, Paulo, Bruninho, Denine, Bruninho Dino, and Hoof. Pretty, pretty familiar 11 for us. It, as I said, it's just these two positions down the spine we want to get rid of. Or at least improve, should I say. Record breakers. I'm going to move myself out of the way because there's quite a few. And I'm just going to scoot through. I'm not going to read through them all because that'll take ages. But highlights or a few standouts. Yaya Diallo or Yahaya Diallo is now our youngest player. Not goal scorer yet. Still hasn't scored. Uh... <laughs> And then player of the season and fans player of the season. Sorry, young player of the season and fans player of the season are both our goalkeeper. Goal of the season we just saw. Top goal scorer was on nine, which is really poor. Most assists is on seven. Most player of the match awards is four. And our highest average rating was our goalkeeper, which isn't ideal. We have a club visions and expectations meeting for the following season. 
So in the Campeonato Nacional Prio, they want us to finish in the top half. I'm going to, I think I'm just going to accept. If we're honest, I'll just accept it. I'll take what they're saying. And we need to repair the club's financial damage. And then we they want us to win promotion again the following season, even though our contract's due to expire. For then, it seems. The board, happy to keep me on. I can't see anything as to why they wouldn't at the moment. I haven't had the dreaded meeting. They're sitting on a C-plus for me, so I think they're happy to just write off what happened and just crack on. My only thing is, though, looking at the season like as a whole, or our season, we only had one game before this promotion group kicked off. And then, I know we had four losses in a row, and then if you take that, no winning seven. That isn't great. But even with that taken into account, we finished on the same points as third place. And we were only five points away from promotion itself. And we definitely would have got that because we beat Gondomar. So all we need to do is turn some of those losses into wins. And I think even with this team, if I'd have had a little bit longer, I think we would have managed to get us promoted. So if I can bring in some players that I want, play the system that I want for a season against the weaker teams, get their morale going, which I think we've kind of dragged vaguely towards what we want to be seeing as well, then... I, I'm, I'm going to say it. we're getting promoted next year. We're going to do it. I've decided. We've had a high turnover of players and staff. It's going to increase a little bit over the next month or so. But managerial support's ebbing up. Club atmosphere and cohesion's getting there. We're getting promoted. I've decided. I have confidence in this team and the formation that it's going to happen. And I hope you'll be back for that. And if I've been fired in the meantime, this is going to be very awkward. Hopefully I don't have an egg in my face. And I hope you'll be back at the start of next season to come and meet our new players. If you have enjoyed this episode, then could do me the favour of liking, subscribing, showing your support on this channel, it would be greatly appreciated. And thank you very much for your time.